Right, this is Jabulani and Sinyazo of the Rustenbeck Herald. Uh, we are at the new Rustenbeck Mall, which is going to be launching today. Today is the 28th of uh, April, uh, Wednesday. So stay tuned for pictures and videos of the grand opening of this mall. Thank you.
I'm not seeing Dennis. There's, there's, there's Dennis. Um, throughout this long journey, uh, you can say we are frenemies. Uh, the best of enemies at times, the best of friends at times, but it was all for, 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 for a good cause. Um, I would also like to acknowledge uh, Zambi, I don't know if Zambi is here, who was also here on the ground, uh, you know, fighting and working all at the same time. Let me also acknowledge members of the steering committee, uh, we have uh, Kukano Ramakhari, we have Kate Levin Mfalapiza, uh, Mr. Lungatulo, okay, and oh, Jigis, we will, we, we will call you Jigis from the steering committee side. These are the people that were representing their various com uh, communities and the business interests of the communities during construction phase of this particular project. Um, I think I am now going to ask for a volunteer to please open our session of prayer so that we can then get on with the, with the program of the day. Thank you very much, uh, Executive Mayor. Let me acknowledge our very important guests that are with us today. Bombe Baba Sprelinzing Rastenbege Kasimoya Dimplazedinzi Ridibona Karpeta Mosename Mar Dimplazedinzi Risirelele Fekantari Kapa Lozaluna There is wife sitting there in the Fakajuku Kile Akmolije Bombe Baruna Hale Bombe Fela Bane Rappe Bombe Bombe Baruna
gap uh, between the physical and the spiritual. And this is exactly what we are talking about. Sometimes we are not even aware that it is prayers of people that you don't see on a daily basis that are the ones that are keeping you uh, in check. Kahuliano, uh, we, we thank the God Almighty for this multi-million land investment that is here and has changed the face of Rastenberg that is also going to be providing jobs to, to the people of Rastenberg. Uh, let me take this opportunity to call to the front Mr. Peter Lombard to come and give us an overview of the project. Councillor Kombe, I said to him earlier, it's much different meeting him when we celebrate than, than the meetings we had in the past, so it all comes together eventually. Um, Honourable Mayor, the Prince, Councillors, the Chief Whip, um, Madam Speaker, uh, all distinguished guests, uh, isn't this amazing? We live in a world where COVID and lockdowns and um, uncertainty is part of our everyday lives. We live in, a, in, in South Africa where business confidence is not at the highest that we've seen it before. We live in, in, a, in a time where investment decisions to spend capital, to invest capital are difficult decisions. But despite all of that, we are here today to celebrate an amazing, amazing building. I'm sure you, most of you have walked the corridors. No detail has been spared. I mean, the quality is of a standard that you can find anywhere in the world. I don't think there's any shortcuts. The attention to detail, I don't know if you've mentioned, if you've noticed small things, the art, I mean, if you walk to the, to the ablution facilities, there are pictures of real people that exist. It's not marketing, or it's marketing, but it's not, uh, it's, it's actual persons who live in the Rustenburg region or town. said uh, many years ago we want Rastenberg to be a world class city. Uh, 
we have not achieved that, Councillor Duplessis, but this is a benchmark. This is what everybody must, must, must come and see about what we meant when we want Rastiman to be a world-class city. So that this is becomes the new standard. All of us must comply with, with this standard. So well done to the Roman group for delivering in our time a very poignant example of a world-class city to this world-class facility. I want to assure you, program directors, you know, uh, although we can smile, the, the road has not been easy. We, we have fought many, 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 many times, uh, but we all realize that this has got to happen. It's got to happen uh, this year of uh, 2021. Prince, uh, Prince Zul, you see, we are so blessed with this opening. Uh, we are told that uh, His Majesty, uh, may his soul rest in peace, uh, uh, King Zulutin, if he was alive, he would have been here. So he's not here, but he sang his, uh, well, his son is here, uh, Prince Zulu. I want us to give him a very warm, 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 warm welcome. <laughs> so it's not every day that we you meet uh, somebody from, uh, from the esteemed royal house. Um, so we are truly blessed that uh, we are all here to, 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 to welcome your prince. Let me also take this opportunity to, to warmly welcome and appreciate the presence of uh, His Grace Comforter T.S. Modisa and uh, the entire delegation. We, we are truly honored that you made the time to be here. This is indeed a very special occasion. Uh, <laughs> let me acknowledge uh, the Speaker of uh, Rajmi Local Municipality, uh, Councillor Shilamabana Huma, the Chief Whip. Um, let me also welcome uh, a, former, a former boxing champion, uh, Tadeo Shabang. From, from JB Holdings, uh, I think I'll, uh, I'll say a bit about you later in the group. Let me acknowledge the presence of um, the team and the entire team, the Mulman group, the chairman is here, the Umyani, he, he prefers to be in the background, he doesn't want to be seen, the CEO of uh, Mulman group, the entire team staff, uh, all of uh, the team from uh, the Mulman group. Twin City is also here, the chairman of the group is here. Um, we may acknowledge the presence of uh, you know, fellow councillors, uh, members of the taxi industry, tenants. I think the special touch, uh, Steph, that we invited uh, those ladies from Kamani. Uh, uh, we call them Bombeba Merampe in our language. I think it's, it's a, it was a very, very important thing you invited them. So you invited them, you invited the comforter. So this facility is truly blessed, and there's no doubt that it is going to succeed. We must acknowledge the presence of members of the media. Uh, there's quite a few of them here. Uh, uh, and uh, the broader community of Rastenberg, tenants, uh, everybody who's uh, here to witness this, this wonderful, this wonderful special day. I want to correct you, uh, CEO. This journey did not start in 2013. It, it actually started as far back as 2003. Not in 2013, as far back as 2003. Uh, before I get into trouble as well, let me acknowledge the, the ward councillor, councillor Duplessis. I, if I don't acknowledge him properly, I'm going to get into trouble. <laughs> later. Uh, so, the journey of this mall uh, started in as far back as 2003, and I remember well because I was a municipal manager at the time. Uh, so we started then, uh, and uh, it was originally awarded to a group called Arkways. Uh, later on, we tried to resuscitate it, it didn't work until we had to restart in 2013-2014. It's been a a tough, 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 tough journey. Uh, 
Uh, remember, if you remember Rashid in 2013, 2014, it was after that uh, prolonged strike in the mining sector, the Rashid economy was, uh, was uh, declining, you know, all the mines were announcing job cuts. So for Mr. Rusha Bambu, the woman group, to have come into Rastenberg at that time and commit to invest 600 million in Rastenberg was a very, very brave move. Uh, but it was a major point of, of confidence that if these guys can invest 600 million when everybody was running away from Rastenberg, it means there's a future in Rastenberg. So we have to really commend the group for coming into Rastenberg when it was not fashion, fashionable for people to, to come into Rastenberg. I want to say this, program, uh, it's, it's not something that we all know, that actually the Moonman Group is one of the biggest investors in the city of Rastenberg. It's not just this mall. They own Utiko Mall, they own um, uh, Mahalis View. There's that center that you know, that you all go over from Nando's and Woolworths. That center is also owned by this group. So they are really a major investor in Rastenberg. And we want to commend them for their confidence in our city. Um, and we commit... <laughs> we commit to continue to work with the likes of you so that we can achieve this objective of Rastenberg truly becoming a world class city. So well done to the group. We are proud of what we have done. Rastenberg is a much better place because of the moment. Now, just to relate some of the milestones of the project over the years, uh, like the CEO has indicated, the award was given to the Rusha Bangu Group uh, as far back as 2013 2014. Um, after much wrangling, um, so we gave that award, we had to go through many rounds of public participation. Uh, at the end of it, um, they had to address cancer, the, the entire cancer. That, that meeting didn't go very well. I, I, I think uh, we had to call the Mulman Group and the Rushaban Group, call them back and say, look, don't worry about what happened with the council. Uh, we are still committed to this project. Uh, we started with the construction and then had big, big issues to do construction of local empowerment. Uh, the proportion of uh, local SMEs that have a stake in the project, we sat around the table and resolved those issues. We can truly say, during constructive uh, stage, the community of Rastenberg benefited from this project. We got jobs, uh, and we all contributed towards producing this world-class facility. We are also pleased, as a municipality, that uh, this mall, in the you know, understanding what the impact of COVID has been to uh, the, the economy of Rastenberg, the economy of South Africa, is creating new jobs. Is providing hope to lots of people who had lost hope during the, uh, as a result of COVID or as a result of uh, what happened in the, in the mining industry. So we are extremely proud of this project. We can go a long way in achieving the objective of diversification of the local economy so that we can reduce dependence on, on, on mining. This more, we expect that people will come from all corners of the, of the province because I can, I can say without any fear of contradiction. We don't have a mall of, of, of such wonderful facilities in the province like this one. That the CEO has indicated you can put this mall anywhere in the country, anywhere in, in, in all, all over the world. It is truly a world-class facility. So we are extremely proud of uh, all this achievement. So I want to just continue and, um, and say once more, to everybody that has been involved in this project, Mr. Rusha Bangu, the steering committee, uh, Councillor Tupisis, Councillor Mvangu, all of you that have been uh, involved in this wonderful project. Uh, I want to say this as well about the project. They have, uh, at their own cost, provided a facility for the tax industry. They've got wonderful offices, uh, air conditioning. They've got proper mining facility. We can talk about malls, that, I don't want to talk names. We can talk about malls that uh, have been built in Rastenberg. 
where people just come and they invest, but they don't go all the way and, and build a proper rent facility. So, so that the commuters here, they can come here and they have a proper facility without having to sit in the sun, uh, especially when, uh, when the elements are here, when it rains or during winter. So it is a, a mall which truly demonstrates that the developers have got an interest of saving the community of, of Rastin. So well done to all of you that have been part of this project. Uh, we are truly blessed that we have uh, all the technologies to witness this wonderful occasion. And we look forward to doing more projects with uh, people like Bullman Group, Twin City, in order to achieve this objective of us becoming a truly world class city. Thank you very much. I didn't know that you were this short. <laughs> I had to adjust this thing a little bit. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Are you guys happy? You look very happy. I can see that. And thank you very much. Uh, I would like to firstly thank Rustenberg Municipality, Honorable Mayor. My brother, I must say that you are one of a kind, you are one in a million. Especially in your industry of politics. Uh, in politics, there's so many lies, so many promises which are so empty. But I've never seen a man who stood by this vision that we have realized today with all honesty. And I wish other politicians could do the same thing. This man, even if it's late, there's a restaurant that I used to meet with. Uh, and, and you know what? When I arrived there, my wife once said, This is where are we going now? And I said, No, we're going to a halal place. And I could see that that place was very close to your heart. And I blessed that place because a lot of things were discussed and a lot of things were discussed in the interest of the people of Rastenberg. And you stood by all your words. And I must say, thank you very much. In fact, you don't deserve to be a mayor. You don't deserve to be a premium, I'm telling you now. You deserve to be a head of state of this country. That's what you deserve. If the media is here, they must write that down. They must write that down so that they know that if this country can be led by truth and honesty, will be very far. We will produce a number of Rastenberg Mall such as this one behind that leadership. Thank you, my brother. I want to thank uh, my partners, Mulman Group and Twin City. Staff in particular, because I remember Staff, guys, you must understand when the mayor said this thing started, in, 20, in 2003. He's not lying. Uh, before he started with the vision, when I landed here for the first time many years ago, my two sons were still babies. And today they have grown up to see it happen. Obviously, when I let them, they, they were just visiting. They were just going 
Mujeri and that's it. They didn't even understand what, why they are here. But today they do understand. And a lot of people, a lot of companies never saw, never say, share the same vision that Steph and I, you know, saw. When we said, we had this discussion, Steph, there was the meeting of the minds. And I really appreciate it. And some of my uh, partners, and even at the office, the relationship that Steph and I built, when Eurisa would come and say, uh, Ru, you need to sign these documents, I would say, did Steph sign these documents? And she would say, yes, no, no Steph has signed, and I would sign. Sometimes I don't even read, but I just want to know if Steph has signed the documents. So, that's how a relationship is built. And it must be a learning to many of us. It must be a learning to many of us. That you build a relationship and it must be based on trust. So, since we've partnered here, and since we've started here, Steph, I never had sleepless nights. Never. And I've had, I've had so many, some of them you know, you know, because you know, uh, you know, but I've never had sleepless nights with you. And keep it up. Keep it up, keep it up, Steph. And you're doing a good job, and you're going to go very far with that approach in life. I want to thank, you know, Peter, thank you so much. Thanks for your kind words, like you said. And thanks for you guys as a team, because yes, the vision started when Steph and I said, and that is why we ended up here today. But obviously, there's a team behind Steph, and there's a team behind Rushaba. And both individuals need to be supported by the team, because this is a team effort. It's not just you know, something that Steph and I can just do. It's a team effort. Thanks for the Mulman Group and the team. Thanks for JP Holdings and the team. I know I give you a whole lot of crap, but it's for a good reason. When I'm angry and when I'm strict on things, this is what we're trying to produce at the end of the day. So it's for a good reason. And um, uh, uh, Omiani, I know that you don't want to be seen, but please, can you honor me today and stand up? Please. You are a giant in property industry. Uh, I can tell you guys that, you know, Omiyani and his family, they own almost half of Peter's well. That's how I always describe it, and say they own half of it as well. Those who were during our time, I don't know what it's called now, but because I know the names are changing every day, but it's Peter's back the way I know it. And I want to thank you, you know, uh, uh, to be part of this, and to stand behind the team at Goldman Group and give them the hands up. We thank you very much for your wisdom and the courage that you've also shared and you know with all difficulties we've had i remember you know one meetings uh, uh, one of the meetings we've had it was when uh, you know shareholder said to me that we had to make decisions you know whether we went ahead or not because you know uh, uh, the what you call the master of ceremonies were giving us a hell of shit this one and uh, today I'm happy he's very decent, he's wearing a suit, and he made it happen himself. And thank you so much, Omiyane. Uh, uh, I want to say, where is Omanot? Uh, uh, Omanot, could you please honor me as well? I'll make you stand up. Thank you so much, Mom.
By the way, I've learned quite a lot from um, Harold as well. Then, uh, I'm going to say that I teach my kids, which I got from him many years ago.
era ha bo itunetse mo dima go tsotsa thabe ya hao ya tsione o tla mo hele tsa bana ba hao ba kopa ho wena hore a o hle o phahani se o tlolela la hao le le tuna ka mo hao wa hao nne wena ya tsa go la mo se bitsone jona hen ta ta ya le ba bana ba hao ke bana ba inyatsitse ba o le ka difase go ba pere masela mo hwasha ka ho u pere mo hele tsa bana nta te pele ba kena mo hara mo se bitsone ba kopa jona re go tlile mo dima go tso le re ka le tsone le ka hao le le tuna nta te le phahami se nne wena o kwala mo se bitsone jona ka ho mo di le ho tla ho ena o putse ho na ya ka kola le ha o putse ho na ya ka kola re tse tse mo dima go tso o pule ma ho tlwana ha o tsone le mo ya ona ha o hala le nae e ha o tla mo kokotlo e na re re kholo e re tshobolo motho wa gale o tla he motho mo tsha motho mo tsha ya ona le ku tshiso le mamelo ya tsa mang ka mola gore ga le khane na ha o e hala le tsole ba se di phire le makunu di tshiso ke we ka ho mo dima go tso le re ho wena e tsetsa o mo lo mo e tsetsa bana ba ha o ntate o ya ka sere ka ne setse jo ke ona sephiri re ka sere a fetsa go re se le tsole na la ha o mo dima go tso ho ba ne ha le ke lo tshoko ya ha o dipiri re ka fanele ka motsotso le ke a bolo se ntate ke one o po bu ma jo le ka ta o ka tla e ka mo gharola o le ka e wena me se a mo dima ba wa di khutsa na wa di wa ba tlhola jo le re tse tse ntate re kwalle o sonolo fa se o papalle le pitso ne le go le la ntate mo ra le mo ya halelela amen